Hello and welcome to PCI's DEM Editing Best Practices Video Guides. In this chapter, we are going to go over best practices for DEM editing of bridges in DEMs extracted from high-res satellite imagery. Our main objectives in this video include best practices for editing a bridge, editing the surrounds of a bridge, and verifying the accuracy. So to begin, we're going to bring up focus with our digital surface model that was extracted either with Geomatica's Ortho Engine or the GXL. And we're going to select our D digital surface model layer, go to Layer, DEM Editing, which is going to open up our DEM editing panel as well as our digital surface model and render it in a pseudo color hill shade. So if we zoom down to our area of interest, we can see that the bridge that we want to edit, it's relatively simple. It does have some slopes to it as it's got some, an on and off ramps, but it's quite intact. So the digital surface uh, or the DSM extraction did a good job of extracting majority of the, the feature itself. So we really just need to clean it up and repair certain parts. So editing a bridge requires a couple key steps performed in a specific order. So please do pay attention. But like most things, once you practice it a few times, it will become easy and for the most part second nature. Okay, so step one, we're going to create our layer, our editing layer, and we're going to choose our polygon tool. And as I said, the first step is just to draw a polygon that outlines the bridge but with a little bit of a buffer. So for this we can use the image here as a bit of a guide. So we can zoom into the region. We really don't need to be that close and we don't need to be overly accurate at this point. So I'm just going to roughly draw the bridge with a bit of a buffer, as we said. Not too much of a buffer. And we're just going to go to about here for this example. So we're just going to go back and forth, and we just want to make sure that we're not on the edges here. So we can choose our reshape tool here and if we feel that we got too close to an edge well we can extend it out a little bit. So we can use both of these layers to sort of help guide us to draw this bridge. As I said we got a little too close and maybe a little too far at this point. Okay so now we have our polygon. So what we're going to do, and this is still part of the first step, is we're going to take this polygon that we have and that's currently selected, and we're going to change the operation to road median filter. We're going to change the size to a very large size, so we can set, for example, 75 pixels. So now with this set, we're going to click Apply. And what we're trying to do is just really flatten out this area. We can run it a couple times to get a nice smooth gradient here. As I said, we're really not too concerned at this point about making mistakes with the edges. So you can also, if you want, you can apply it a third time just to further smoothen out these regions. If there's nothing more to do, the edit won't really apply much. So now at this point with our main section, uh, with a median filter, a large median filter applied to our main section, the next step, so step two, would be to define a preview region, so draw the one-to-one -one window around this feature. And this is going to generate the orthos for the two images that cover this feature. Okay, so we now have in this window here our feature. What we want to do at this point is we basically we've got approximately the correct height for the bridge as that, that's, that's what the median filter uh, should do, but we just want to flicker back and forth and just make sure that the bridge itself is quite stable. So we can see obviously we have errors at the edges. But we can see as we go into this bridge the features themselves are quite stable. We can check all throughout it. So now the next part that we want to do with this uh, full res ortho preview already generated, we're going to go back to our DEM editing panel and we're going to undo the median filter that we applied. So by undoing that, 
we only undo the edits to the DEM, but because we have not regenerated this ortho, we still have this the ortho exactly as uh, in per, intact, so we know where the bridge should be. So what we can do at this point is we can use this information as a guide. So we can see which side gives us the better perspective of the bridge. So we can see over here, if we use the left image, we get a better view of this side of the bridge. If we use the right image, we get a better view of the other side of the bridge, of the edge. So now what we can do is we can either draw a new polygon around it, or we can edit this polygon. So we might as well, since we have it here, let's just work on editing this polygon. And here you can just go through and draw to the best of your ability along the edge of the bridge. So now that I get to the other side, one thing that's important to note here is that you want this corner to be as close to a 90 degrees as possible. That's partly how the road median filter knows the opposite ends, is by finding the 90 degree angles, or the close to 90 degree angles. So now we'll go do the other side. So you can see at this point we now have a nice polygon that covers our bridge, the actual edges of the bridge. So now the next step at this point is we can once again reapply our median filter. We can set a bit of a smaller one, perhaps 50 pixels. We're just going to reapply it to this edge here. So we can go apply. And we often put it only, we'll likely only need to apply it once, but we can apply it a couple times if we want to see how it affects. And then at this stage, we can verify the accuracy of our bridge by regenerating, whoops, regenerating the full resolution ortho mosaic or ortho image. Okay, so we're going to go in and we can see that if we flicker back and forth, we can see that our bridge is very stable. So now we can actually use this polygon that we have here as an exclusion mask for our terrain filter. So we're going to draw another polygon, say around here. And we're just going to filter out the features around it. So we'll just do this as a quick example. I can go to my terrain filter flat, for example. Set a little bit of a larger pixel size. Can go apply. Remember just to click apply, not apply with overwrite. And now we're removing the features alongside. And then we have another chapter that's going to teach you how to fix rivers.